Garth Brooks was one of the handful of artists who received the Kennedy Center Honors Award on May 21st. Being honored at a medallion ceremony that was originally slated for December of 2020, but had been put on hold due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Previous Kennedy Center Honors recipient Gloria Stefan hosted the ceremony, while violinist Yo-Yo Ma performed in front of a socially distanced crowd. During the evening, several performances took place, but it was the surprise performance from this singer that led Brooks to tears. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and the 43rd annual Kennedy Honors will air on June 6th on CBS. Hit that thumbs up button if you're looking forward to watching Clarkson's emotional moment with a country legend. Then after you're done with that, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you never miss country music's latest breaking news. We don't want you to be left in the dark. During the ceremony, to honor her friend and fellow country artist, the talk show host took the stage to sing this Brooks beloved number. In a preview clip we found on People.com, viewers caught a glimpse of what you can expect to see when the honors air on June 6th. As Clarkson delivered the timeless number, her soulful rendition of Brooks's song couldn't help but strike a chord with Brooks. As Clarkson progressed through the song, so did Brooks's emotions. The camera panning to the singer with wife Trisha Yearwood, and he dabbed his tears, truly soaking in the moment. The seasoned performer isn't one to get nervous, but in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, she shared that this time around, that wasn't quite the case. Quote, I was texting Trisha Yearwood before the show, and then I go on stage and I saw them, and like all of the sudden, I'm the sweatiest human on planet Earth. And I got a little nervous. And I don't get nervous singing. Yep, I didn't enjoy that. Brooks expressed his feelings after Clarkson's performance, putting his hands over his face to cover up his emotions. Quote, I'm already wishing I had a mask on so I could do this. And then the whole band kicks in. It's just so pretty. That woman is a true friend to a song. She's amazing. When it came to the song choice, yes, the dance is one of Garth's noteworthy numbers, but it's one whose lyrics hit personal for Clarkson. Insight she shared with the singer during an interview with him on The Kelly Clarkson Show in 2020, sharing it was a song that helped her through her divorce from ex-husband Brandon Blackstock. Quote, so I'm going through a divorce, and there's been like a lot of books and people always give you stuff to help, especially when you have kids and stuff. And there's so much shame and guilt. I couldn't quite nail down the feeling. Like, you don't want to crap on it. Like, you don't want to say that doesn't count or matter. You don't know what to put in it because it didn't work out like you planned. So anyway, I kid you not. I was listening to my playlist, and the dance came on. And I was like, no, that's the thing. That's it. Clarkson explained that the track even inspired her to write her own song regarding the divorce that will be featured on her forthcoming album. Since we're talking all things Garth Brooks, we want to know what's your favorite song of his. Leave it in the comments below. The singer posted this snapshot from the night, writing, quote, to loosely quote Maya Angelou, I stand here as one, but I stand here for the people who have carried me to this point. Grateful. Love, G. Multidisciplinary artist, choreographer, and actress Debbie Allen, singer-songwriter and activist Joan Baez, violinist Midori, and actor Dick Van Dyke were alongside the singer to receive the honors. I'm Addison Hager with Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.